everybody, Dizzy Crafter here with a little tiny haul from Crafter's Companion. If this is what I think it is, it they had a foil press mystery bag. So that's basically what's in here and maybe one or two other things. So without further ado, let's get into it. So yes, as you can see, I did get other things because this is nothing to do with foil press. It is just another totally Tiffany Fab file pockets. I'm really enjoying using these for my magazine stamps that come free because on the I get the Creative Stamper magazine and they always come with an A4 sheet of um, stamps. These are perfect to keep them nice and safe and nice and snug and clean. So that's how I've been storing them. So I did need to get some more of those. My invoice. Um, and then I can spot a Distress Oxide. I'm always on the lookout for new Distress Oxides that they have on there because they're the cheapest place I can find to purchase them. And this was the other one that they had in stock that I didn't actually have. So we've gone with Wild Honey. So definitely check them out. And then I think the rest is just mystery bag. Yeah, I think it is. So the first thing in here is, should be some dies, I think. Yeah, so you've got a full alphabet set of dies of um, the file press. So these will give you your names. I kind of wish I'd have got two sets of this mystery bundle just so I had two sets of letters. I feel like that would have probably worked best for me and because that's the basic reason why I bought this mystery bundle because I already have these anyway but like Craig said you can use them in the kitchen or whatever and it's always handy to have spares because I'm murdered for losing them. Um, this these tweezers that you got with them, I love these tweezers. They've got a magnet on this side, so it's easy to release the um, the file press dies, so you're not going to burn your fingers. And then we got another silicone mat. Again, I could use this in the kitchen or whatever. There's lots of places I could use this, um, but I think I will use this for my heat gun to place my heat gun down because I use, when I craft, I use a table that I'd done resin on it to, so it may, it may interfere with that. I've not really noticed as such because I tend to put it on the floor once I've heated it, whereas now I can just put it straight on the table on this. And then we got some foils. So the first one we've got is Aurora. And they're all silver foils as far as I remember. And no, 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 not because there's a gold. So we've got a gold shimmer. Love that gold shimmer. Then we've got another Aurora, which I'm not bothered about getting two Auroras just because silver is one of my favourites. I'd always go silver over gold, nine out of ten. And then we've got Disco Ball. So I'm really, really happy to actually have um the discos, balls and all the silvers and then let's see if we can get this out good job I've got no nails on isn't it stuck so, yeah so the last thing is the foil press extra platform for if you've got the larger Gemini which I do have um, and I've already got this again like I say but I am actually going to be passing my Gemini over to my sister-in-law um, just because I really prefer the Sizzix and I've got the Gemini Junior now to do the actual file press so, so yeah so this will be really no good to her or me really because she uh, doesn't have a file press so unless she likes the file press may show and then she can have it but I already had one so don't quite know what I'll do with this but yes that was my little tiny miniature haul um, I can't remember how much it cost let's see if I can the invoice no on the invoice they never tell you how much it actually was so but it was it's still a cutie little haul to share with you guys I hope you've enjoyed it and 
I'd love it if you please comment, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye.